So this illustration is designed to show you the difference between percentages and M's when used to control box model properties inside of CSS. Okay, these units such as M's and percentages and so on can be used with type, very common to use them to type, also quite common in a responsive world to use them with objects. Okay, so I'm just going to pop out and show you the source code for the four divs you're looking at there. Okay, and inside of the source code, there we are, we've got some HTML here, so I've got four separate divs all nested together. Each div has an H1 element inside of it, okay, first, second, third, and fourth, just here. And each div has a class of my div controlling certain properties that are common to all four and a unique ID of first, second, third, and fourth. And the purpose of those is to give you the background color. So here we've got the red, the yellow, the green, and the purple color from there. And the class at the moment is just controlling the margins between those. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, just show you this in relation to the type. I'm going to target all of the H1s inside of those my divs. So I'm just going to create a descendant selector here and I'm just add h1 to this like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a font size declaration to this. So font hyphen size, and there Dreamweaver is also complete, very, very useful. And I'll set that to 50% to begin with. And then I'll save that. I'll pop back out to my browser and refresh. And so now you can see that the font size has dropped down to 50%. This is of course on the base font size, which which is the browser default here of 16 pixels. Okay, so each of these is now dropped down to eight pixels just there. If I just take that back out, so I'll just take that back out to 100% just here, okay, and I'll come back and I'll just set that. So now you can see they are at 16 pixels just there. Okay, I'm gonna pop back out, and now I'm gonna change that. Instead of 50%, I'm gonna use 0.5 of an EM, like so. There is a difference between these two things, but in this particular case, this will serve in this illustration for type, and I'll just do that. And again, you can see it's very, very similar. Half an M, of course, is eight pixels. One EM is equal to 16, so half of that would be eight. Exactly the same as percentage in that particular case. Okay, so now I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna get rid of that declaration just there. Okay, so I'll just remove that, and I'm gonna set this back to no longer address the H1s inside of things holding the class MyDiv, but to access things holding the class MyDiv themselves. So I'll drop something on the end there, but I'll do width, like so, and I'll set the width attribute here to be 50%, like so, and I'll just save that, return back to the browser, and refresh, so the H1s go back to their original size, and you can see each div there becomes 50% the size of its parent. So the red div, its parent, is the body element, or the viewport in this case, uh, they're expressed as, and that's down at half that size, and then the second one is half of the size of that, and the third one, half of the size of that, and the fourth one, half of the size of that. So I'm gonna just come out to there. So percentage is using the information from its parent. Now I'm gonna change that to 0.5 of an EM, like so, and I'll save that and pop back out. So remember that the base font size here is 16 pixels. When I refresh, each one of those becomes half an M wide, which of course makes them eight pixels wide. So you can use type measurements to calculate widths in this way. And hopefully that goes some way to clearing that up for you. Thanks for watching.